This is Daily Armenia, CivilNet's Daily News Digest. Here are today's top stories from Armenia, Nagorno-Karabakh, and the region. The foreign ministers of Armenia and Azerbaijan each spoke by phone yesterday with the U.S. State Department's interim head for Europe and Eurasia to review the state of ongoing peace talks. In a statement, Armenia's foreign ministry said Ararat Mirzoyan briefed Yuri Kim about the escalating situation in Nagorno-Karabakh resulting from Azerbaijan's illegal blockade and warned that the humanitarian crisis unfolding there threatens Armenia's efforts to establish stable peace in the region. Meanwhile, Jehun Bayramov told Kim it was Armenia that was deliberately escalating the situation, according to Azerbaijan's foreign ministry. Continuing, the statement denied the existence of the blockade as a political manipulation by Armenia. As of this afternoon, the State Department had not issued its own readouts of either conversation. The phone calls come as Azerbaijan's blockade of Nagorno-Karabakh approaches the eight-month mark and as Luis Moreno Ocampo, a former chief prosecutor at the International Criminal Court, warned there is a reasonable basis to believe the blockade constitutes an act of genocide. The blockade has pushed Nagorno-Karabakh's more than 100,000 Armenians to the brink of famine, with CivilNet's team on the ground reporting widespread and severe shortages of food, energy, medicine, and other essentials. You can also check out CivilNet's latest interviews with Vahe Sahagyan from the University of Michigan and Arin Garabet, a lawmaker in Sweden. Vahe joined us to discuss this year's Armenian Society of Fellows Conference and the importance of strengthening ties between Armenia and Armenian diaspora communities around the world. And speaking of diaspora communities, Arin stopped by to talk about his work in Stockholm and what lessons Armenia can take from Sweden's democratic experience. You can find both these interviews up now on civilnet.am. And in case you missed it last month, Armenian directors were recognized with two major awards at this year's L.A. Schwartz International Film Festival. Garin Hovanisyan took home the Best of Fest prize for his film Nowhere, while Ophelia Harutyunyan won top prize in the Best International category for her film It Takes a Village. L.A. Shorts is the longest-running short film festival in Los Angeles and ranks among the world's most prestigious international short film festivals. This year's festival featured more than 500 films from nearly three dozen countries. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 1,002,878. That's the number of tourists who visited Armenia in the first half of this year. That is Armenia's all-time record for the highest number of people to visit the country in any six-month period. And as always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground in Armenia, Nagorno-Karabakh, and the region.